Karen and I are mud bathing at the Yulo Artesian Baths. This is my early Mother's Day present. And because I wouldn't be a mother without Erin, she's bathing with me, or in the bath next door to me. More to the point, they do have, they do have a super duper stretch limo sort of bath in one of the other rooms. Now what you need to see here is that that's the camera so we can do our self pose shots. No, nudity of course. So I'm in my bath here, there's my toes there, and that's my muddy water eyes think you can see there. And as I sit here in my rainbow sombrero, similar to Erin's, I look out the window, or I look up where the roof might be in normal circumstances, and I can see the clouds, and over in there, through the, through the rectangular window, there are birds in the trees, and if I was taller I could probably see the geese paddling in the pond there. There are actually space for four people in this particular compartment. There's a cubicle to bathe at the one time. And then over there is the uh, where I can sit later. And then round a bit further is like an old water tank, corrugated water tank, and that's been converted to a shower room. So the process is we luxuriate in the muddy water for 30 minutes eating our nibbles. Um, I've eaten mine, but Erin's a bit more restrained. We're eating our nibbles and watching the world go by, just soaking. And then when the 30 minutes is up, we get up, we pat ourselves dry, so we're still slightly damp, and we apply our mud packs. And we leave them on for 10 minutes or so, after which time we shower off using the... Um, the, the water tank shower around to my left, nice which has a huge shower head where it'll be like standing under a waterfall. And then we come back and um, we put our moisturiser on. Ah, yes, there's, there's, a, there's an extra step in that. If we wish to come back after we've put the mud pack on, we can wash off a bit more in the bath and we may need to adjust the water temperature using the add more water from the tree trunk um, faucets there. How's your bath there, Erin? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's the best thing about it. I like how the mud kind of settles and then you put your feet down and it feels all squishy. Can you find a handful of mud to show the to show the world. Oh, oh no, I've missed it all up. I found some. Mud. Yeah. It's all silky smooth and stuff. That's very good mud, isn't it? In it the is. scheme of things, it's top-notch mud. Much better than the da mud Dad made me eat. Yes. That, 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 that bit of mucking around. It wasn't as if it was served on a plate for dinner or anything. <laughs> no. Second part of the mud bathing process. This is where you get your tub of mud and it's lovely soft um, mud and you slather it upon yourself. So I can't show you me because that's a bit um, rude. rude. Yes, it's rude and disturbing. I think too. We should. We might add that it's rude and disturbing. However, Erin is is you know young and covered, and so we can show you um, some of Erin. And if you do a little twirly thing, Erin, and we've put it on a back, and it's on her legs, and you might be able to see it's on a decollage there. Uh, decollage, you know what I mean. On those almost rude bits, and the um, and and her face and I've got it just about everywhere but we'll won't show you that I, I was I was on the wrong the wrong setting so I gave a lovely commentary and took a picture of Erin this time I'm going to do 
perhaps not quite so uh, good a commentary being at the second time round, but I am actually filming, I think. Anyway, here's Erin. This is the third par part of the bathing process. The um, sample of the locally produced moisturiser using the date palms grown at the same complex as the baths. How does it feel, Erin? It feels good. Feels good. It's lovely stuff, and it smells quite, quite lovely. Yeah, you can't smell it. Yes, I, w I wasn't getting closer to smell. I was getting closer to show. Where oh. I'm, yes, I'm not entirely stupid. Thank you very much. There we go. 